And welcome to another edition of Mocktail Friday. And today we don't have just one drink. We have two drinks. One drink is very simple. So that's why I decided to add a second drink. Both of them are going to be super duper delicious drinks for the holidays. Wait a minute. Before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, like, and don't forget to hit those notification bells so you'll know when I have a video to drop. So let's get into the first drink. The first drink is, is what I amply named the Jack Frost Mint Julep. And this is a mint julep cup for all of you guys who are not familiar with mint juleps. Typically the official drink of the Kentucky Derby. And what we're gonna start with is the simple syrup. The recipe calls for cane sugar, but I feel like a simple syrup works better. And real lemon juice this is found in your local grocery store and ginger ale i like schweppes but canada dry works as well as seagram's bowling is actually my favorite um, ginger ale and then we have a sprig of mint and also we're going to be using some cold water but not that much water and i went ahead and um blended up my eyes so we don't have to have all that noise from the blender so let's start first with the ingredients let's go with our lemon juice i'm going to use this stuff is really concentrated so it doesn't take a lot we're going to start with a teaspoon of lemon juice Put that in there and let's do about a tablespoon of simple sugar. You don't even have to add this if you don't want to. If you want it to be unsweetened, that's purely up to you. And that's about a tablespoon of simple syrup. And Let's do, let's get our handy dandy jigger out and do one shot of cold water. Actually two shots because like I said, that um, lemon juice is potent. So two shots of cold water. And then we're going to get our ice. I actually like Sonic's crushed ice, but I had too much running around to do today and plus I work today. So we get our ice in there and you want to just go ahead and fill it up to the top with ice. And then last but not least, we're going to put in our ginger ale. Okay. And then you're going to fill it with your ginger ale. It's going to fizz a little. I'm going to stir it just so everything is nice and mixed. This is a quick refreshing drink that you can fix after dinner, before dinner, you know, however you, you want. And I'm going to add a little more ginger ale to it. Oopsie, I'm going to spill it over. And then you're going to stick in your mint leaf. And I like to even put in a stir to make it even more pretty. Look at that. And that, guys, is the Jack Frost Mint Julep. Before we go any further, I've always got to give it a taste to make sure it's nice and yummy. Mmm, it's good. You taste the lemon. 
I'm even getting a hint of the mint. So good. And again, these drinks are non-alcoholic and they're delicious so that even the kids can enjoy it as well as the designated driver. So let's get on to our second drink. Okay guys, now it's time for our second drink and I call this drink the Merry Mule. A little bit of play on the Moscow Mule. And with any mule, you're gonna use the copper mug, the traditional copper mug. And we're gonna start with our ingredients. I have club soda, simple syrup, and this is ginger beer. It's non-alcoholic. It has no alcohol in it, as you can see, and it's caffeine free. So this is ginger beer. You're mainly using this for the taste that's gonna give it that Moscow mulish taste. And I have a lime and a mint sprig for garnish. And I also have my bottle open here so I can open the ginger beer. Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with, let me move these items over here. Get our mug. Let's start with the simple syrup. We're gonna start with a tablespoon of simple syrup. Okay. And a fourth cup of club soda. fourth cup of club soda and we're gonna go with three fourth cups of ginger beer And let's give this a stir. And let's get our ice. Remember I have my ice already. Ugh, that's too much. And if you want to add a little more of one ingredient, a little more of the other, feel completely free to do so. Everybody likes something over the other. And I'm going to stack the ice. And I'm going to add a little bit of more of that ginger beer because it was fizzing a little earlier. And then, let me get this out of the way, guys. Let's cut our lime. Make sure you're rinsing your produce as well as your veggies. And I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lime in my drink because I like lime. It has a refreshing taste, just a little. And I'm going to cut a slit in this lime. That's going to be my garnish. And I'm going to add a sprig of mint. Make it pretty. And I'm also going to add some cranberries that I just stuck in a skewer to make it look a little more festive. I think I'm gonna stick this in my lime. And there you have it. That's your Merry Mule. So let's give it a taste, shall we? Mmm, that's delicious. 
I taste that hint of lime as well as the mint and that ginger beer uh, makes it really, really, really gingery and good. This will be a big hit for any holiday party, any get together. Um, it's delicious, it's festive. Do yourself a favor and make one or both of these holiday drinks for your holiday occasion. And that's it guys, we made two delicious drinks in literally under 15 minutes. Um, I hope your holiday is amazing. And if you make these drinks, let me know. Drop a comment below. If you wanna add something to it to make it even more, like you can add cranberry juice or your any type of juice, raspberries, whatever you do to make it more festive, you can do it with any recipe. You can always add a personal touch if you like. And as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time I drop a video. And that's the conclusion of our Mocktail Friday. Hmm, which drink do I want? Meeny, meeny, money, mo. Toodles. Mmm, delicious.